All right, we're back with Rhonda Grunewald uh, talking about vocations. Last week we talked about the importance of the family on vocations. And I forgot to mention, Rhonda's just a great friend of the Hartfield. She's a good friend of Paradise Day. She's even worked with us a little bit uh, yeah. here and there. And so we're just so proud to um, bring her ministry to you guys, Hundredfold, a guide to parish vocation ministry. So what can we practically do in our homes to help foster vocations with our children? Um, so we need to encourage them to have a relationship with Jesus, first of all. Prayer is so important because um, it's being able to form them, guide them, and allow them, Jesus, to have plenty of time to speak to them. So we also want to encourage them to think not just in the what are you going to do, but how are you going to serve? How are you going to serve? And and what does God want for your life? Right. These are how we can we can talk to our children in a different way and getting them to think a little bit differently about a career. Right. Because if God wants our ultimate happiness, right. He will bring us to that in our vocation. Mm -hmm. And so if that is through the priesthood, that's what's going to bring ultimate happiness to our son, then we as parents want to foster that. Right. We can also um, have a relationship with your parish priest. Bring him over and, and have him for dinner and, and speak kindly of the priesthood and religious life. If you have sisters at your parish, uh, religious sisters, um, get a relationship going so that it's, it's a natural thing for your child to be around people who have said yes to the Lord. I, I feel like I'd be the, the most proud I would ever be as a father is if I, one of my children became a priest or nun. And that would be amazing. It's, it's unfortunately, a lot of times our parents are the ones discouraging right. a vocation, which right. is really surprising. But I think it's because they don't see enough joyful witnesses in front of them of right. those who have said yes. Right. And so um, I want us to think instead of necessarily about the priest in front of us or the religious sister in front of us, let's think about that ultimate happiness that God wants for our lives. And, and that is only going to come from saying yes to whatever He's called us to. Right. So let's encourage our children to simply say yes to God, whatever that may be. So we're not trying to force them into any vocation, but we want them to be open to God's will in their life and to simply say yes to whatever He asks of them.